I was originally interested in poetry and through it I somehow found my found photography. I don't remember exact reason or things, but right from the start it was clear that I wanted to tell about uh, unknown people's stories. But as a young man I noticed that the photo doesn't tell about the person, about the human as a person. For example, a photographer, photographer takes a photos uh, unknown, un unknown peoples on the street. It only tells about the person in the picture that he or she has happened to be at the same point in the city at the same time as a photographer. Of course, sir, it tells exactly about the culture and the time, but I don't think that photo actually get to the person in the pictures. At this point, it seemed natural to combine, combine the image and the text. The starting point is when I photographed uh, my family summer home, uh, lake landscape, lake view. It's a gloomy. It was gloomy evening light and dark clouds, clouds flying over the lake. But on the same day, it was unfortunately uh, our family friend passing away and I throw that uh, on the uh, surface on the photos. I made the rules myself for how to shoot in this work. And rule is, rule was and is, uh, I don't use tripod. Uh, I don't uh, add uh, any extra lighting. I don't uh, look for a subject, but I and I shoot one picture as a part of everyday life. For example, on the way of school or way of store or hobby, and uh, I don't specifically compose photos, but I shoot them only random like this click. Uh, so I act like a robot and make a routine of others on a daily basis. In all my image the focus is, the, is on the individual true who I try to tell about society and I have named it, uh, my image, a narrative documentary. That means a portrait field uh, of documentary photography that allows image to uh, be reconstructed and addressed.